When it comes to A-level exams, success isn't just about how much time you spend revising. It's about how effectively you use that time. In this video, we'll explore the PACE revision system, a research-backed method designed to help you plan, learn, and apply knowledge more effectively. PACE stands for Prioritize Audit Check An exam practice and it's built on proven cognitive science principles that strengthen the bridge between your short-term learning and long-term memory. However, it's important to remember that successful revision is about routines, consistency and persistence, not shortcuts. Step 1 is to prioritize and plan. Research by Rora and Pashla, in 2007, shows that distributed practice, or spreading out revision over time, is for more effective than cramming at the last minute. By spreading out your revision you are able to give your brain time to process and retain information. When you revisit topics at spaced intervals, it strengthens the neural connections, making it easier to recall the information later. Cramming, on the other hand, may help with short-term memory, but it doesn't give your brain enough time to consolidate the material, meaning you're more likely cause your brain to overload and then forget the information quickly. Planning your revision in 30 to 45 minute blocks is the most effective method because it aligns with your brain's natural attention span. Studies such as those by Francesco Cirillo suggest that focus starts to decline after about 30 to 45 minutes of continuous work, meaning longer sessions become less productive. By working in short, intense blocks, followed by short breaks, you allow your brain to absorb information without becoming overloaded. Cirillo called this technique, the Pomodoro method, it keeps your mind fresh and helps with long-term retention, making your revision sessions more efficient and focused, instead of overwhelming. However, it's not just about spreading it out. It's about focusing on the right things. You don't have to revise all topics to the same level of depth. Some topics you will only need to glance at briefly to remind yourself of it. Whereas others will require more in-depth and focused revision. A useful tool to help you manage this process is the Eisenhower Matrix, which prioritizes based on urgency and importance. Here's how you can apply it to planning your revision. Important and urgent. These are your weakest topics, especially those central to the subject. These are likely areas where speaking to your teacher would be of benefit. Important but not urgent. These are topics you're relatively comfortable with but still need to review. You could answer an exam question on these but not hit top band marks. Not important but urgent. These might be smaller or less critical areas, but they still need a quick review to ensure you're not caught off guard. In the exam these would be topics that you could attempt but know you would struggle with. Not important and not urgent. These are topics you've mastered well. You can review them closer to the exam but don't need to prioritize them right now. Once you've prioritized your topics, use this information to apply into leaving effectively. Start with a topic that is either important but not urgent or urgent but not important. This gives you a manageable challenge, something engaging but not overwhelming. Then, move on to a topic that is important and urgent, your most challenging areas, where you may need extra help or clarification from your teachers. Finally, end with a not important and not urgent topic. This will help you finish on a positive note, giving you a sense of accomplishment and motivation to keep going with your revision. Interleaving your topics will help to provide motivation as you don't get bogged down with the areas you are struggling with, or focusing on what you do know because it makes you feel good. Once your plan is in place, it's time to audit your learning. This is where you check how much you've retained and how well you understand the content. According to Dunlosky et al. in 2013, Self-quizzing is one of the most effective ways to reinforce learning and identify gaps. It is also a good way to unlock the filing cabinet in your long-term memory so that you are able to access what you know. There are a number of different ways you can self-quiz, both online and off. Online systems include Seneca Learning Quizlet Carousel Learning Blookit And many many more. Offline you can create your own crosswords or use the Leitner system for flashcards. This part of your audit should take about 10 to 15 minutes. The second part of the audit is a brain dump to see where the gaps in your knowledge are. 
A brain dump in revision is when you quickly write down everything you know about a topic without worrying about structure, accuracy or neatness. It's a way to get all your knowledge out of your head and onto paper, helping you identify what you already know and what gaps you still need to fill. Your brain dump can be topic-based but it is more effective to base it around an exam-style question. Next, we move on to check your gaps. Based on your audit, it's time to focus on filling in the areas where your knowledge is weaker. Research by Butler in 2010 shows that targeting specific weak spots is essential for deepening understanding. This is the point where you consolidate new knowledge into your long-term memory. Utilizing all the tools at your disposal, you need to add to your brain dump, using a different color, so that it is easy to see what you recalled and what you looked up. Resources you can use include Your lesson notes Textbooks Exam mark schemes Revision guides YouTube videos Friends But also remember your teachers are there to help as well. The final step in effective revision is exam practice, which plays a crucial role in your success. According to research from Carpic and Blunt, repeated practice under exam conditions significantly boosts performance. This is because A-levels are not just about recalling facts, they are about applying your knowledge in a real exam setting, often under time pressure. The more you practice this, the better equipped you'll be to handle the actual exam. Exam practice is vital for several reasons. Critical thinking and application. When you practice with past papers, you're not just memorizing information, you're training yourself to think critically and apply that knowledge to unfamiliar questions. Organizing thoughts under pressure. Exams require you to organize your thoughts and write structured answers within a limited time. By practicing in timed conditions, you develop the skill to quickly assess a question, formulate a plan, and write a coherent answer efficiently. This process becomes more natural the more you practice. Time management. Another key benefit of exam practice is learning how to manage your time effectively. For example, if you have 90 minutes for an exam with three questions, You'll need to divide your time carefully to avoid running out before completing all the questions. Repeated practice teaches you how to allocate time to different sections and stick to your plan during the actual exam. Reducing anxiety. The familiarity that comes with repeated exam practice also helps reduce anxiety. Knowing what to expect in terms of format, timing, and question types makes the exam feel less intimidating. You'll be more confident walking into the exam room, which can improve your overall performance. Using two colors to track your progress during timed exam practice can be a powerful tool. Here's how. During the exam timing, use one color to mark down what you were able to complete during the set exam time. This gives you a clear sense of how much you can realistically accomplish within the time limit, helping you understand where you need to speed up or slow down. After the exam timing, use a second color to finish the rest of the paper after the time has run out. This shows what additional work you would have done if you had more time. Comparing these two sections helps you identify areas where you may need to improve your time management or content understanding. By regularly using this method, you can refine your technique and ensure you're both answering effectively and efficiently. Over time, you'll develop a clear strategy for each question type, know exactly how to pace yourself, and approach the exam with confidence. The more practice you get, the better prepared you'll feel on the day, transforming your hard work into top results. So why does the PACE system work so well? It's based in research on how we learn and retain information. Prioritizing helps focus on the most important and challenging areas, while auditing gives you feedback on your learning. Checking gaps ensures you fill in weak spots. An exam practice helps transfer what you've learned into exam paper application. By following the PACE system, you're not just cramming facts into short-term memory. You're actively engaging with the material, strengthening the pathways that make it easier to retrieve when you need it most. During your exams. As you start your revision journey, remember. Success isn't about working harder, but working smarter. It is about creating routines and systems to ensure your revision is consistent and persistent. By using the PACE system, you'll focus your efforts where they matter most, helping you to bridge the gap between short-term learning and long-term application, whilst keeping your revision manageable in 30-45 to 45 minute chunks. 
But the main thing to remember is that you are not on your own, your teachers are here to help, you just need to ask.